Rottweiler Top 10 Facts Due to its various size, people who like big dogs usually favor one or two breeds. The Rottweiler is one of those breeds that is often found. The majority of people agree that the Rottweiler is a German dog. Even if you look at the name, you can tell it's German. However, you may be shocked to learn where this dog came from and what it was trained to do. You'll also gain insight into how the dog gained prominence and why it isn't nearly as famous today as it once was. Do you consider purchasing a Rottweiler? In this video, you will learn everything about the top 10 facts about Rottweiler so you can find out if this dog is best for you. In the list of top 10 facts about Rottweiler, at number 10, we have They came from Rome. Many people believe Rottweilers originated in Germany, so it might surprise you to hear that they originated in Rome. The reality is that the dogs were brought to Germany by Romans who were only starting to settle here. They had them qualified to do a variety of tasks, including pushing heavy carts and performing other tasks on their farms. Because of their temperament and solid build, these dogs were well adapted for this form of work. As a result, the Romans decided that bringing their dogs with them to a new country would be a smart idea. People eventually forgot about the Rottweiler's origins and began to believe that it was a German dog, owing to its name. In fact, this dog had been around for a long time in Rome before the first Rottweiler arrived in Germany. Many people would be surprised by this as Germans are known for claiming the breed as their own. Next on the list at number 9, we have Trains almost make them extinct. You're probably scratching your head, wondering how anything as simple as a train could have an effect on the number of Rottweilers on the planet. Remember, they were originally used to work on farms, and they would often pull carts from these farms into towns so that the farm owners could sell their produce. For many people, these dogs were their only means of getting their products from one location to another. When trains arrived, people realized they didn't need the dogs as much, so they stopped breeding them. The Rottweiler was basically nothing more than a dream by the time it was all said and done. Next on the list at number 8, we have They make great police dogs. Rottweilers are also a popular sight at dog shows put on by groups such as the American Kennel Club. There was a time, however, that they were lucky if one Rottweiler competed in this type of competition. It wasn't until police officers realized how useful the dogs could be in their line of work that the breed began to gain popularity. Someone noticed somewhere along the way that the dogs were powerful enough physically and psychologically to deal with police work, so they put a couple of them to work in that sector. Next on the list at number 7, we have They have been in the US a relatively short time. Many people believe that Rottweilers have been in the United States for as long as any other dog breed. But this is clearly not the case. In fact, this breed has only been around since the 1920s in the United States. As far as the history of an entire breed goes, it isn't very long. They assume the Rottweiler originated in the United States when an individual from Germany immigrated to the United States and took his dog with him. Maybe that's why so many people believe the Rottweiler is a German breed. Next on the list at number 6, we have They are popular While the breed's popularity has declined in recent years, Rottweilers were once one of the most common dog breeds. They were one of the most common breeds in the United States in the 1990s. In fact, there were more than 100,000 full-blooded Rottweilers registered in the United States alone. Unfortunately, due to problems with less than trustworthy breeders, their numbers will soon dwindle. As is normally the case in situations like these, the dog ended up paying the price for the lack of accountability on the part of humans. Next on the list at number 5, we have You have to be careful when you buy from a breeder. If you read the paragraph above, you'll see that there have already been some problems with untrustworthy breeders who are affiliated with this breed of dog. Puppy mills, which are where the majority of people got their Rottweilers at the height of their popularity, are part of the issue. When they were first common in the 1990s, respectable breeders were unable to satisfy the public's demands for puppies. As a result, some people who ran puppy mills and other breeders with ethical problems ended up breeding massive amounts of puppies. Next on the list at number 4, we have They're Strong this should be evident if you think about it. Every dog that was born to pull carts and do farm work 
would have to be tough enough to meet those demands. Dogs who work for the police department are in the same boat. They were not sniffer dogs, they were there to protect their handlers and track down criminals. As a result, this is unquestionably one of the most strong breeds on the planet. They're often typically very big dogs. In fact, Rottweilers are usually comparable in size to German Shepherds, although in many instances they are physically stronger than Shepherds or many other dogs. Next on the list at number 3, we have They're Obedient There was a time during the history of the Rottweiler when they were actually considered to be one of the most obedient dogs that ever existed. As such, they were used in obedience contests and they usually did extremely well. When the dog has been bred responsibly and then has been properly trained and socialized, the Rottweiler is truly one of the most well-balanced and obedient dogs that you will ever run across. The truth is, they have to be obedient because of their sheer size and strength. A Rottweiler that is not obedient could potentially hurt someone by simply coming to greet them and standing up on them. Next on the list at number 2, we have They're not fearful animals Some dogs are more excitable by nature than others. Some breeds are notorious for being neurotic and under certain conditions, many of these dogs will become so terrified that they are unable to live a happy life. Rottweilers are not included in this group. They are, on the whole, fearless by nature. Rottweilers aren't scared of much, even when they're puppies. Instead, they're normally very curious and want to learn about everything they can about the world around them. This makes them excellent watchdogs, but it can also get them into trouble if they aren't properly socialized. Finally, on the list at number 1, we have They usually live about 11 years. Having a Rottweiler is a major investment, as you can see. Dogs of this size have an average lifespan of 11 years. So if you plan on keeping one for a decade or more, make sure it's the right match for you and your family. Any dog is a commitment and it's crucial to treat them as a member of your family rather than as a piece of land. Some Rottweilers live for more than 11 years while others die before they reach that age. More on their well-being will be covered later. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you do not miss more videos and learn more about dogs every day. And if you are interested in dog brain training and training methods, you should also check out the description. Thank you so much for watching.